Well, welcome back to Overbury. It's day five uh, of Harvest 2018 on the 15th of July. And this is the last field of oilseed rape that we've got that's, uh, that's fit and at the right maturity ready for harvest. Uh, we didn't use any glyphosate in the, uh, in the desiccation process. This is a really light field. It's on our sand and gravel area of the farm. And uh, as such, it's basically just killed itself. And uh, with all the hot weather that we've had, that saved us a path, saved us some money. It's a really, really short crop. Uh, the yields are a little bit disappointing, but probably not surprising. This is doing about three tonnes a hectare. Moisture on the grain is just under 9%, uh, which is what it needs to be to go into store, so uh, we're happy with that. And uh, yeah, Sunday uh, afternoon off for most of the guys now. We've got some straw that the contractors are just moving around for us, and we'll get that picked up tomorrow. Um, but we've, uh, yeah, we've, we've basically got as far as we can go at the moment. We're waiting for crops to be fit. I think there'll be some wheat off very similar sort of soil to this uh, that will be ready towards the end of the week. Um, so that's... Uh, it's, pre it's pretty dry. Uh, we're chopping the oilseed rape, uh, rape straw and that'll be a mulch that'll break down and uh, feed the uh, get the nutrients recycling ready for the next crop due to be winter wheat um, and we shall plant this towards the end of September um, and so the process continues uh, for another year. Oilseed rape is one of our break crops, a break from a cereal um, so it's great for, great for the soil Nice big deep tap root on these plants. Um, can't actually even pull it up. Ugh. That one's broken off. Ugh. And that one's broken off. Very, very dry, very dry conditions. So, um, yeah. Uh, tune in when we get going again. Um, in a few days time. 